Hello viewers, Chief here. Welcome. This will probably be the 150th video that I'm posting. I've got a lot more videos filmed, just not edited yet. I'm just finding it hard at the moment to find the time to do it. Today's a special day for me because this has just recently arrived from the United States. It's a brand that you can't get here in my country, which is Australia. This one's called Cocaine. And I think its popularity is directly due to the name and the obvious inference. Now, there is a disclaimer printed on the label, but that uh, will be on the screenshots that it doesn't contain anything illicit. It is actually an energy drink, and this is just the marketing name. It's very interesting. It costs an absolute uh, fortune to get this one sent across to this country with freight and the unit price. I think they have four flavors, maybe five. I'm, I can't quite remember. It's on the it's in the, the carton of drinks I've got, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's four flavours. Uh, if there is five, I'll do the review on the five. Um, I am very, very interested to try this. Uh, one of my subscribers, I provided a sample for him because he's provided me, or his family has provided me with a lot of samples in the past and thought I'd return the favour and something which is very difficult to get here, and he absolutely loved it. And he had uh, a mini review himself. And one of his associates tried it and they absolutely loved it. Uh, first thing off the bat you notice with this can, it's uh, only a small volume can, 12 ounces, about 355 mils, which is more or less standard for a small can. It just contains a little bit more than the 250 mils, which is a quarter of a litre. The label is shrink wrapped. You can feel the big seam on the back of the can, but uh, that's it's quite normal with shrink wrap cans and products to have a large seam but this one's very pronounced it's it's like it's a raised edge it feels like there's a grain of, of um, rice underneath the the seam so thick and it is a very thick plastic on there I can feel my thumb hook it around the edge it's very very thick anyway this today's flavor is uh, cinnamon cola and I believe it's the bee's knee so we're going to give this one a try we have a standard 500ml glass with an approximately one cubic inch ice cube. Actually, this ice cube is a little bit less than the cubic inch. It's a bit thinner than normal, but the dimensions are approximately one inch by one inch. Uh, this has been refrigerated, but I would have preferred to have it in the freezer for a little bit longer. Make it absolutely ice cold to accentuate the taste, but let's see how we go. Let's give it the old pressure test and see how much pressure shift between the atmosphere and the inside of the can. Let's have a listen. There wasn't too much there at all. There was no spits, there was no nothing on the can. Let's see if we can discern any aroma coming from the lid. Oh, very strong taste, uh, smell of cola. Very, very strong natural cola taste. Yes, that is very, very strong. <clears throat> Let's just tip this one out and have a look. It smells like a post-mix concentrate, or a cola concentrate that you would get a lot of clubs and pubs and bars where they have the syrup in a container and they squirt it through a, a little gun and it mixes with carbonated water and they rehydrate it and it becomes the equivalent of cola or Fanta or, or lemonade or whatever the case is, but it's not uh, mixed in the can, it's mixed separately. And that's what it smells like. So let's pour this one out. I'm actually gonna drink the whole can of this because if I work out the equivalent unit price for each can, it is very, very expensive. So I'm going to make sure that I enjoy the whole lot of it. Okay, let's have a look at the colour first off. There's a few spits on the inside of the glass around the top there, which is very small spits. There's not a lot of carbonation in there. I, I had a look at the expiry date on the can, on the, on the printing on the can, and it's well within date, but that's just only a guide. It's a very, very light caramel coloured, very light tan coloured. I can see my fingers through the back of the glass here, so you, you can get some view through the glass, but it's a very light but consistent light tan coloured, pretty close to amber or honey coloured, which is quite surprising. I would have thought with the dark can and and the type of drink that it, it, pollute, it, it leans towards, it might be very dark in colour. But let's have a smell. It's a very strong natural cola aroma. There are a few other drinks which it does remind me of. 
The first one that springs to mind is Doritos, the Mexican Cola. It smells similar to that. But I think this is a standalone drink. So let's have a look. Cocaine, the drink, energy drink. It has uh, 280 milligrams of coffee in this little can, so it's a little bit more than normal for a small can. Let's have a taste and see how we go. Mm, I've really swirled that around the mouth and it is very, very nice cola. Very strong cola taste on the mouth, on the palate of the mouth and on the tongue and on the after swallow. And I can still feel that cola taste permeating down the throat. I can still taste it. It's been, what, about 30 seconds now? Still has that very strong cola taste all the way through. It is a fantastic drink. It is very close to one of my favourites. There's only a very, very slight hint of cinnamon there. If you didn't tell anyone that it didn't have cinnamon there, they wouldn't normally pick it up. But now that I think about it, it does have that that uh, definite hint of cinnamon. As the uh, cinnamon candy, that tamales, the hot tamales candy, is very strong with the cinnamon, it tastes very similar to that, but not as strong. And mixing with the coal red is a fantastic combination. So there we have it. We have cocaine, cinnamon cola flavoured, fantastic drink. The stats on the can are a little bit higher than normal for the ingredients. Uh, I think that's just the way that this manufacturer makes this drink and that's just their formula. It is a fantastic drink, fantastic at all. I would say that this is very, very similar to Bang Drinks Miami Cola but it'll just be a less concentrated version. So if you were to get something like a Bang Miami Cola as an example and put a little bit of water in there just to thin it out a bit, this reminds me very much like that. The smell reminds me very much of Doritos Mexican Cola, but the taste is unique and it's a great combination with that little bit of cinnamon in there. And I think it's a fantastic effort. I can't go on and give it any any bigger wrap than I am today. I'm definitely going to try and get some more, although it does work out very, very expensive to get it shipped to the other side of the world from where it's produced, uh, which is from America. I've tried the sources through Asia, through China and India, many, many other places. They simply do not have it. And if I do find the odd places, uh, Singapore was strangely one place which I could get it from, it will work out twice as much as getting it direct from the factory in America. So you have to be practical about things like this when you're paying the equivalent of 40 Australian dollars for a small can of drink like this with postage included it's getting a little bit much so if there's any sponsors out there get on the site Math Chief will taste it for you and give you a big plug well thank you for watching cocaine cinnamon cola it's a great drink I'm looking forward to trying the other flavors in their range I'm pretty sure there's at least four there's possibly five but when I can locate the carton I'll pull it out and we'll confirm that for you. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. There's no cost. All you need is an internet connection. And we'll see you on the next test.